Shalom, everybody. So we're going to go up there. This is where Tel Megiddo is. And as we walk, I will tell you a fun fact. Um, the name Armageddon in Hebrew says Har Megiddo, Mount Megiddo. Um, and we are now in the archeological site of Megiddo, an ancient city that was destroyed, rebuilt, and then destroyed again. Shalom. So yeah, this place has so much history. I'm not going to go through all the history with you because I myself am learning just like you guys, but I thought let's have a nice peaceful walk um, in Armageddon, Har Megiddo, where the greatest war of all is going to take place. The war between good and evil. Um, but for now, as you can see, it's fairly peaceful. I can walk here, film speak with you guys it's green and just perfect time to visit this place but yeah basically if you come here you will see a lot of ancient ruins artifacts um, there are layers of dozens of cities that were built destroyed built destroyed um, but then at some point in history people just stopped rebuilding it and we're left with the ruins and a prophecy that here in this place Har Megiddo, Armageddon, Mount Megiddo we are going to see a very deadly war moments ago before filming I saw fighter jets flying um, it's crazy to think how history and modernity come together fighter jets probably heading towards um, Syria Lebanon that's that would be that way um, I'll show you Mount Tabor it's there it's there Nazareth you can see all the great sites um, historical sites but Okay, should we go left or right? Left or right? This is not a political question. Actually, there is no right, there's only straight, but let's take a left. I want to start with the best view that we have. I mean, it's actually not that packed for the season, but on the other hand, it is wartime. Israel is facing multiple fronts. So understandably, some people prefer to stay at home and not to talk about the tourists that are not coming because of the, because many airlines just stopped flying. So anyways,
Just look at that. Just try to imagine houses here, animals, horses, armies. Here is the northern stables where they had horses here. And you're about to see amazing view in just one minute. Just look at this beauty. I'm in love with the north. Now look at that. That's, we're looking at the Jezreel Valley. There is a modern city, Afula, over there, Mount Tabor. If you can locate it in the horizon, left of Mount Tabor is the hills of Nazareth. You gotta say it's funny, a lot of people say hills of Judea, hills of this and that. Um, but there are also hills of Nazareth. Just an observation point. And over there is the Gilboa Mountain. So it's like we're looking at a place filled with history and prophecies. Sorry if it's windy, by the way. Not sure if you guys can hear me or not, but got the best cameras for you so I can bring you guys along with me. That's just magnificent. I I grew up here in the, uh, not particularly here, but um, yeah, this is like, for me, a place where I grew up. Loved seeing the green, the Galilee, uh, which is over there. We also grew up in Samaria, um, northern Samaria that starts there, but had to evacuate from our homes. Um, but if I may ask for a quick commercial break, um, as you guys know, I'm doing this truly committed and dedicated to the love of Israel and the truth of Israel. Um, and I just want to invite you to take a stand with me for Israel. You can help me joining me on Patreon. Uh, you can uh, join me on Buy Me Coffee. Just type H Naftali or you'll be able to find it in the description. Um, or if you want something more materialistic, I have a store called the Israel Store where you can get IDF shirts, Stand With Israel mugs, and all kinds of stuff. Um, looking to add jewelry as well. So you'll be able to get that. That's your to-go to place to find awesome stuff about Israel that will help you connect to this beautiful land.
Tomb Car excavations. So these are the first excavations at Tel Megiddo, um, directed by da 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 da. Look, I have to make an observation. I know what people are saying about this place and the future of the Galilee. First of all, growing up, I always, you grow up in the shadow of this thought. It's like, hey, what's going to happen? Like the Bible says about this greatest war of all, a war between good and evil. And, you know, sounds of war, as we know very well, unfortunately, bring deaths bloodshed um, and so many bad things but I have to say that walking here it's so very peaceful it's like you're feeling like you're breathing history taking in history and yeah it's so prophetic uh, to be able to walk in this land and to share with you guys the truth Look at that. I know it may sound offensive, but you know, and you guys know me, I don't like to get political. Of course, I'm joking, but wherever you put a shovel here, literally, Wherever you put a shovel here, you will find so much history, so much history, but only one piece of history you will not be able to find, and that is a Palestinian one. Wow. Truly, truly remarkable. And one of the things I love about Israel is these little things that you notice. Like, can you see this beehive? For me, it's the little things that make me fall in love with this country. Um, you know, I, for those of you that don't know, I was born and raised here. So, um, you know, you know all the places where everybody's going, but then there are those, oh my goodness, sorry with my ADHD, but there is a local airport here um, for like small jets. So you can see that they're like practicing, lending, so if you're into aviation, you can definitely see a lot of these small Cessna aircrafts. I personally love it. But back to what I was saying, it's uh, growing up here and seeing, you know, where everybody's going, all the, all the famous places, you learn to pay more attention and extra attention to the, these small places the little things about this country that makes it so great. Oh my goodness. And of course, if you enjoy it, don't forget to 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps a lot. Let's go to the other side of this uh, Tel Megiddo. And also let me know what do you guys think about this um, war of wars, the Armageddon, that is prophesied to take place around here. I don't know if exactly where I'm standing, but that's the prophecy, Armageddon, Mount Megiddo. Um, so let me know in the comments. But here you can truly feel... Uh, it's probably the best time to come here around the winter. It's so green. So we're walking towards the... There's a water tunnel here. And unfortunately it's shut down because of uh, some some stones fell and it's blocked but just know when you come here there is also a water tunnel um, where you can walk in the water not on water but who knows maybe one day so that's a public grain silo from the time of king jeroboam the silo had a capacity of 450 cubic meters straw found between the stones attests to the function of the installation. Oh my goodness. That's huge. And I gotta say, it's a really beautiful day. I woke up in the morning, forecast said that it's gonna rain, and it has been raining a lot in the morning, but I don't know where, where you guys are from, but in Israel, on the same day, you can have a lot of sun, a lot of rain. So if you are in Israel and you see that it's about to rain, um, just know that it can all change very quickly. So it was raining a lot, but now you can see that it's a really pretty wintry day. I love how they put these chariots and horses from metal over there, a horse as well, to kind of tell the story of this place. I'm sure that all the kings that had fought here fell and destroyed places. Never imagined that. Okay, that's southern stables. They probably, all these kings never imagined that one day people are just going to come here with a DJI camera and just walk here <laughs> and show you guys about this place. Um, horse drinking water just look at that and it comes and mixes with modernity as you can see these houses over there so relaxing so peaceful And this is your reminder to pray for the peace of Israel. Praying for Israel is essential, it's important, it's vital.
so pretty. Here you can drink water if you're thirsty around here. I know I like to bring water bottles, but that's the water system. Um, so there's like a tunnel here, shaft you go, and there is a spring. So it's closed now, but good to know that it's an option. Wow. I think I'm literally the only person here right now. Wow. Amazing, amazing. And with that being said, I think we can wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing trip. I really appreciate all your support and love for Israel. Thank you so much for supporting my work and allowing me to continue with these amazing videos, bringing you along with me, seeing Israel virtually. I love you guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.